Ayan, of course I can do it. Okay, which one I would... Okay, let's see. Where is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can exploit me. <laughs> no, I already told myself that is the one thing that I will never do unless it has a consent. <laughs> Is it safe? Hi, everyone. <laughs> no shaming. Because when we talk about sexuality, I grew up in the Philippines. And sometimes with Filipinas, we, at least with me, I grew up having this traditional way. And remind you guys, I come from a Catholic school. I'm a fruit of Catholic school. I'm a Catholic school girl. And you know, when it comes to that, there are certain things you cannot talk you know, so I came from, I would say, a generation of women who are just very confused of what's going on with our body, confused of what are the things that are okay. Sometimes I get to a point where something happened to me and I feel like it's the end of the world because this is supposed to be not normal. But if we have like guidance from people who share the same experiences, you can actually explore your sexuality more fully. It's more freeing. It's like freedom to actually embrace who you really are because whether you want it or not, your sexuality is a huge part of intimacy, not just between yourself, but between the partner of your choice. Ganon. Okay, so this one. Okay. <laughs> it says, Ayan, she hates my love making tunes and didn't tell me for over Two years and making sex now is awkward. So that's kind of like the highlight of what I'm going to show you. I wonder how does he sound like then, right? So this is the story of this one, guys. This is from Reddit. I love reading Reddit. And this is the... I don't remember what T-I-F-U means. I think. <laughs> so my 20 female girlfriend of two years told me the music that I... 25 male play during sex is weird and a major turn off. Do you play music, guys? I want to know what your sex musics are. I got so a little backstory. When I first started having sex, I researched into ways to be better as I was a little stiff and pretty much had no idea what I was doing. I read online that you can play music and match the rhythm in order to put a better performance, which is pretty much true. Like when you're intimate with your someone, like somebody, and you want it like a long, 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 long time of intimacy, sometimes good music plays a real part, especially when you can actually like follow it, sure you know, the music, the rhythm, you know, there are certain music like that. Mm. I, uh, and I searched love making songs and started slowly creating a playlist in which I was comfortable matching the rhythm. And there are few songs to my playlist. And however, there is one song in particular which actually happens to be my favorite that my girlfriend hates and says turns her off in a major way. So imagine this and process this as we are reading. I don't understand why it has taken her two years to tell me she hates that song. It's a good love-making song with good rhythm. I feel the way I fucked up is I could have possibly asked her previously if she likes the playlist or any song she'd like to add and change. But to leave it for two years, thinking our sex life is great, but in her eyes has just been ruined by my music, has left the whole situation feeling awkward and I'm a bit annoyed. Ooh la la, a bit annoyed na. I pretty much played this tune every single time, so the amount of times she must have not been enjoying it. When I thought the complete opposite is annoying but also embarrassing in ways. Not to mention... My previous partners, however, they never complained about the song. So maybe it's just her. It's fucked up the relationship, to be honest, because sex feels awkward now. And this is one of the reasons, guys. Sometimes when you cannot express yourself the way your partner can receive it nice and good, this is where everything becomes so awkward, you know. And this could have been solved if only they could actually in 
like have a communication of what they really want, right? The other day, we were having sex with no music, <laughs> but I was still trusting to the tune playing in my head for over two years. They've been listening to this song, guys. She recognized this and asked me to stop. So I thought this song was perfect. And I always thrust along with the tune and feel it gives me the perfect rhythm for doing the deed do. I usually bust this song and find it devastating. She hates this song. So guys, do you understand the whole concept of this story? So this is the song that made his girlfriend annoyed as fuck. And now everything, their sex is awkward. Kudos to this person. I mean, I like the beat. But you have to understand the context of what we were saying. So he is fucking toward this song. Every rhythm of it. And what's funny about this, guys, sometimes is like when you look i love looking on comment section right so i found this on reddit a moment of silence for that poor woman suffering two years of this just imagine two years of this and then look at the 231 it's like i'm one of the people that actually followed this and just kind of like it's really really fucking funny and yo guys don't understand She's heard this so many times that whatever rhythm he was following was burnt into her consciousness. Again, and everybody's like the comment of this. Yo, any woman that put up with this every time for two years is a keeper. <laughs> and there's no way bro was tearing the tricks up to two seagulls having an argument. Ayan, and without a shadow doubt my favorite thing about this whole story was the collective experience of clicking the link to the song and thinking this isn't that bad and then followed by the absolute 540 degree twist and takes 20 seconds in it's absolutely perfect play it one more time <laughs> i'm gonna share this on discord guys <laughs> so if you wanna listen to it one more time try it out thrust the rest the way he thrusted his 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 girlfriend for two years and can anyone dance to this and make it look sexy oh my god wow look at i see she up and down and i've lost my mind <laughs> i had so that's basically one of those things just we kind of like open this up this actually fit with that funny thing it's just really funny thrusting Hip thrust, guys, this is very, very, very important for everyone, you know, not just for women, not just to build that booty, but actually, this is good for everyone. It's your hip joints, you know, being physically fit is a must when you are going to fuck for a long, long, long time. You need stamina. If you are an exhibitionist, you need that flexibility so you don't hurt your back, you know, like, I don't know about you guys, but I think... <laughs> How many of you in right now actually injured themselves because of sex? I like strained the muscle, <laughs> pulled the muscle, muscle soreness the next day because of fucking. How many of you can say that? Without having that experience or having that the soreness, not just on your holes, not just not just on your whatever it is that you're using, but just because out of that action you had your everything is just sore your body's just sore <laughs> especially you know the more we get older the more our joints need flexibility it needs stamina we need everything we can to actually perform tasks in the least possible effort as we can to be physically fit not just sexually because it cannot be like fully sexually fit guys if we are not physically fit at the same time that's why i said these things this factor physical mental emotional sexual this four at least for me main factors you have to be fit then life will way get better you just have to try first time will always going to be hard I, you and I like it to be educational, but fun, but at the same time, it will lead us to have a better sexual, intimate, spicy, 
and alive. Ganon. Because sex is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun. You have to enjoy it. Have you ever had in your face of life, not just the receiving part, but you're not receiving anything, but you're the one giving it. You know, the feeling of satisfaction. Have you ever reach that the feeling of satisfaction just because you're giving it you're not receiving anything you're giving it and we're talking about sexual have you ever enjoy yourself doing that that's one part of being sexually fit and it's wonderful to explore different types as long as it's consensual and nobody is you know having bad experience or being exploited harassed assaulted nothing of that sort it's all good at least in my opinion i don't want anybody to be exploited because i talk about this there are people that aren't matured enough to handle you know conversations like this and i don't want people to feel uncomfortable when we talk about sex or when we talk about our sexuality